James Holder for Apple TV in association with Matthews Jim Marbella. I'm at the big press conference today for World War III in Manchester. Joined by undefeated Jimmy Kelly. How are you, Jim? Yeah, very good. Just disappointed uh, Martin Fidel. We asked him to turn up to a press conference. So. Was there any reason why he didn't turn up? I know he's in Manchester at the I moment. I think he knock on his door. He's all telling me what answer. I don't know if he's gone Sundays or anything like that, but yeah, I don't know where he is. <laughs> Could have gone out for a night out last night. You never know. Yeah, I'm hoping so. Just hope he turns up on Saturday. <laughs> How's things going, Jim? New signing for Queensbury. How are you finding things? Yeah, really happy. Just looking forward to getting on the bigger stage, um, winning titles and just progressing and just seeing where it goes. Where does the nickname Kill Rain come from? It's my uh, Chris name. My Chris, like middle name's Kill Rain. I'm after Jake Kill Rain, the boxer. Okay. So my dad was a big boxing fan, so obviously you know, I got thrown into it as a kid. Yeah, that's quite interesting in itself, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, yeah, I've got a good name for it from the profession and that. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've, you've held a few titles already. You're still yeah. holding the WBC Youth Gold title, is that yeah, right? Yeah, WBC uh, Youth World title. I vacated the silver. Um, so, yeah, just looking forward to adding a WBO Intercontinental on the night and moving up the ratings of the WBO. Yeah. These great belts to get because they get you that ranking, which then sets you on the path for, a, for some big fights, doesn't it? Yeah, massive fights. And like you said, you've got Lee Smith and John Thompson fighting for the world title, you know, with the WBO. So, mm -hmm. you know... I'll, I'll start progressing that route eventually. What do you think about Liam Smith's chances of, of beating John Thompson on Saturday? I just think that uh, Liam was too strong for John Thompson. I've watched bits of him. He looked, he's a good boxer, he's tall, but I just think Liam was too strong and break him up. What do you know about your opponent, Martin Fidel Rios? Have you watched anything of him? Could you find anything of him on YouTube? Yeah, well, well he's tall. Yeah, he's a tall fighter. He, you know, he works behind his jab and uh, he's a bit of a spoiler in a way and just likes to to course his way through fights and stuff like that so you know, I've worked accordingly and I'm going to put the game plan uh, into action on Saturday. Speaking to Francis Warren today and the last few days in Manchester he rates you very very highly so for the organisation to rate you like that and they, they know they're going to keep winning they're going to deliver for you aren't they? Fingers crossed yeah like I said I've done a, quite a bit of sparring with Jinder for the fight uh, bits with Tommy Langford a lot of all good fighters so you know, I'm just learning my trade all the time every day in the gym and just want to keep progressing in fights and improving but like I said, if we've got the uh, the conference of the promotion, and that, I'm, I'm, I'm Will's, you know, Will's my oyster. Interesting, you mentioned Tommy Langford. Great win for him in Wolves last Saturday. Um, I said he's another one that's on that route to, to kick forward and start looking for titles, isn't he? Yeah, fantastic performance. You know, he, he went the full ten rounds against a good Argentinian again. So uh, you know, well done, Tommy. And uh, you know, he'll, uh, he'll keep progressing to that world title. Listen, we're expecting big things from you. Thank you for coming to our TV and we'll catch you up the way in Friday, my man. Thank right, you, thanks so much, James. Thank you. Take care.